Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Thank y'all for being here as always. Happy to see you. Okay, because I know I don't scared a lot of y'all off, okay? But I really am happy to see you, okay? I hope you can hear the smile in my voice. I've been really enjoying the messages lately, and I hope you guys have as well. So if you have and you want to stick around, be sure to hit the subscribe button, you guys. Everybody be sure to like the video. Don't be weird. All right. And if the reading is resonating, be sure to put a brain in the comments, okay? Give me some feedback. Let me know what's going on. But if you don't want to share too much of your business, please don't do that, okay? Also, anything you need to know is going to be in the description box below. All right. Be kind to each other in the comments. Be kind to yourself in the comments. And if you guys would like to donate or contribute to the channel, okay, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. I really appreciate it. All right. Let's see, for Pisces, Guardian Angels, Archangels, oops, Spirit Gods and Ancestors, Father, Mother, God. <sighs> High honor, Pisces. This could be you. This could be someone else. Um, somebody could have military experience or background, okay? You could just be very experienced in who, with whoever you are, whatever you do. The cannons are being fired. Okay, this could be spiritually as well. They could be firing some cannons up in, you know, the ethers for you. Um, but there's definitely an appreciation, some type of high honor. I'm going to pull three because that's just how we feeling today. Uh, there's definitely some type of high honor or appreciation. Ooh, that you're receiving. And then I was about to shuffle. Some told me to turn it around and look. Okay, this is definitely a gift that you're being given. I don't know who's giving you this gift, but this could be coming from a wealthy man. I don't know if this is a promotion at your job because it could be a promotion for a lot of you guys. This could be a donation that's being given to you. This could be some type of a plaque or an award or something that's given to you for your service. Even if you're not a service, um, uh, you know, a veteran or a member of the, uh, you know, uh, whatever, the, the services, okay? Even if you're not a member of the services, your service is being honored. Some of you could be nurses, nurses or doctors if you're not in the military. Some of you guys could be, I don't know, in any position. It really doesn't matter. It's really any position in your life that you're in right now where you've done good work. You're being given some type of gift of appreciation for this. And it could be coming from a superior, but it could also be coming from someone who has recognized your skills and your gifts, Okay. What else for Pisces? Community. Yeah, so you've done some type of work in the community. Okay, family room. I'm not going to take that because they told me not to take it when I put it down. But yeah, this is about some type of work that you're doing in the community. 7-Eleven? I don't know. I don't know if you're going to 7-Eleven and getting a Slurpee. But 7 and 11... Ooh, and 33. I was going to say three for sure. Concern. And then the family room. That's another three. Three, three, three. So you're being honored for something that you're doing within the community. Some type of gift that you're sharing or giving to the community is being given back to you. Some of you could be concerned or, or worried about where you live. It, it's, an, uh, it's an unnecessary concern. There's something you're worried about that spirit doesn't want you to be worried about. It's like, it's not, it, you shouldn't be worried about this. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's involving people who you co-mingle with, the collective. Okay. But it also involves people who are close to you. You may be worried about letting people get close to you as well. You may shelter yourself off and be concerned or worried about a specific person or a group of people getting close to you. What else for Pisces? Nope, I don't like that. We're going to shuffle again. It was the house card, though. And it has a gate, yeah. You may live in a gated community or you may like stay in the house a lot. 
because you just don't want to go out and co-mingle with other people's energy because you're worried about what you may bring home or you're worried about possibly how people may receive you. You could also be concerned about how other people's energy may affect you in some way, shape or form. But spirit is telling you, you don't have to worry about that. You are protected. Like you have a barrier around you. Like when you go out, there's a barrier around you of like spiritual protection. Nothing can really touch you unless you allow it to, okay? What else for Pisces? Spirit. Lovers. And it's kind of in the reverse. Okay? Official person. Yeah, somebody could definitely be in the military. And distant horizons. Yes, yeah, Snowflake. What is it, poo, poo girl? Is that your light? Is this your desk? Then why do I have to work on it? Are you going to pay me? <laughs> Hold on. Let me look at this real quick. While I'm doing that, y'all be sure to hit the like button, please. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Some of this is the real deal, real spiel, real deal. Holy field. <laughs> I just heard security seal. Okay. I don't know what that is. Um, something could be sealed up. There's like a security seal on something. Or a safety. I don't know. What am I picking up? Somebody feels disconnected because that came out pretty much in reverse. I don't know if this is you or someone else, Pisces, but it's like the energy kind of shifted. And somebody feels disconnected or people may feel disconnected from you. I definitely feel like someone is isolating themselves. Excuse me. Ew. Have mercy. Now, okay, there could be a situation going on right now, Pisces, where a lot of people admire what it is that you do. A lot of people look up to you, possibly, and a lot of people may appreciate uh, or honor what it is that you do. You may be considered an official person in whatever position that you hold at this time, but there's something that's disconnected. There's a detached energy in this reading so far, so I don't know if you're feeling detached from how other people feel about you. I don't know if you're feeling detached from yourself. I don't know if you're just feeling in general detached from others or if someone is feeling detached or separated from you. But I'm I'm getting a vibe where there's definitely detachment. Also, something cannot last forever. That's what I'm getting with this lover's card reversed. I don't know. It could be the position that you're in. It could be the appreciation, admiration, or attention that you're getting right now for what you're doing. Like, it may be something that's fleeting or it's not going to last forever. There's also an aspect of this that's very freeing and up, like it's uplifting. It's, it's breaking chains. Okay. I honestly feel that a lot of your dreams could be coming true, but there may be a need to be grounded in what, I don't know, whatever you're experiencing, because it kind of feels like there's a detachment from the situation that's actually taking place. And even though a lot of your dreams could be coming true, the way that you envisioned it, the way that you dreamed about it, the way that your premonitions told you it would unfold, you may be feeling detached from it and not be able to fully grasp the gravity of the blessings that are happening in your life. Because whatever has been keeping you ground, it's like you're disconnected from something that is meant to keep you grounded. 
Spirit wants you to get grounded because they want you to see how great your life truly is. They want you to see how great circumstances have unfolded for you. They want you to understand and realize the level in which you have achieved greatness. They want you to also realize that you are an official person in whatever it is that you're doing. You're, you're, you, whatever you're undertaking right now, you're an official person. You're somebody who is notable. I just heard notable newcomer. So you may be, uh, ooh. I just had a sensory issue. You may be a notable newcomer in whatever it is that you're doing. I haven't used this deck in a long time. But they still want you to understand the power of your position. Even though you may be a notable newcomer. Someone who's fresh on the scene. Someone who people don't really know that much about. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Who was that? Snowflake. Who? Who is that? Yup, she jumped down when she thought I was getting up. I ain't getting up. Well, I did get up. <laughs> I guess I lied. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Enjoy this moment, Pisces. Savor this moment. Be in this moment. They they really want you to get grounded because uh, I believe there is definitely a positive aspect of this reading where you're finally being appreciated or you, you know, in general are just being appreciated for what it is that you do. But everything moves in waves. There's cycles to everything. And they want you to appreciate where you are now so that when you move on to the next stage of your cycle, when you move on to the next stage of your journey, that you won't feel an energy of lack. They want you to be grounded and in the moment with what you're going through, dealing with, experiencing, so that you can keep this in the forefront of your mind. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely, uh, this is about work. This is about you being appreciated for doing good work, you being consistent, you creating solid reliable forms of production with whatever it is that you're doing okay death card yeah there's a change coming for whatever it is you do for work there could be changes happening at your job your place of employment your place of business in your business you're almost finished working on something as well it's like you have to be very uh you have to be very persistent at this time. You have to be very disciplined at this time and diligent when it comes to the work that you produce because there's a change there, there's a change happening. Something is you, as you continue to work as you continue to complete whatever this is, as you continue to persevere a transformation is happening like right before your eyes, but you don't see cuz your head is down and you're working. They want you to continue working. And the Eight of Wands. So the Eights are significant. What is that? August? August could be significant. The Eighth of a month could be significant. Thirteen could be significant. The number three could be significant. Because if you look at the Roman numerals, eight in Roman numerals has three individual lines. So does a thirteen. Eight, thirteen? Like a time? 813? I don't know. Scorpio energy, Virgo energy, Sagittarius. So there's going to be something that's coming in towards you that you've prayed for. In Sagittarius season, which is coming up very soon. Something that you prayed for as far as a change to take place in your life is coming through. In Sagittarius season. Your faith and your hope is also bringing this change. All right. But you pray for this. And it's happening. There could be some type of communication coming in. Some of you could be traveling in Sagittarius season. Some of you could be moving or relocating in Sagittarius season. Or there could be communication coming in. Possibly about 
uh, a job opportunity. What's the Eight of Pentacles? High Priestess. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just had deja vu. So you had a premonition about this. You had a dream about this. Something about this was, was foretold by your spirit team. Yep. And then there it is. The Ace of Wands. So, Pisces, what does this mean? This means... This means that right now it's very important for you to listen to the little things that Spirit is telling you to do. Ace of Wands. Let me look at this real quick. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Thank you, guys. Because this is a goal. The inspiration that sparks your action to work towards a goal. That's what happened. You were given a spark of inspiration. Yeah. A new title. I don't know if you're changing the title of something. I don't know if you're creating a book or writing something or there's something about titles that's significant. Yeah, your title is changing. So you may be getting a new position being uh, promoted. I just heard title one school. I don't know what that's about. You're being given a title though. I also feel like some of you had a title in a in a past life. You had a title or a specific position in like a royal court or some type of regal organization, okay? You've been in entertainment in a long for a long time cuz the fool card is right here. You've been in entertainment for a long time. You've been entertaining a lot of rich and famous people. You've been entertaining a lot of royalty. You've been entertaining and uh, writing. I feel like y'all have been writing books in a lot of your lifetimes, telling stories. If there wasn't writing available at the time, you were telling story. You were a storyteller with the high priestess. That's the work that you do. You tell very good stories. Iteration, narration. You're able to captivate an audience. Because there's a level of experience that you have along with also a level of innocence that you have combined together that create a very captivating scene, okay? Y'all are about to get a new job or a new position. Some of you are creating new channels if you're on YouTube. Some of you some of you are making new social media pages. But there's a new title coming. Some of you may discover a new book that you want to read. Your intuition is going to lead you to it and it's going to tell you um some type of tools or skills to be able to enhance your work or fortify your work to upgrade your work, some type of skills that you're going to gain from this book or it's a book that you're going to write about like how to do things what's the eight of pentacles for pisces please oh, oh, oh. <laughs> bitch don't play with them don't play with them stop playing with them pisces stop playing with them Cause that's what you've been doing when ain't nobody everybody like where Pisces at? Where Pisces at? Where Pisces at? Where they at? Where Pisces been? Money a good goddamn business and focusing on what you need to do. Ooh, ooh. I thought I told you I'm a star. See the ice. Okay, period. That's your justice. You're you're learning the rules of how to become uh elevated into a, a different position i feel like you have observed a lot of people in high places for a long time i'm talking about lifetimes y'all have been observing people in high places for a very long time and now it's time for you to rise to your position aquarius energy pisces energy libra energy Yeah. 
Oh, excuse me. This is your justice, though. This is what was. Oh, God damn. God damn. My back. My back. Like, oh, cracked it. Bent me all over. Twisted me all up like a, got, like a motherfucking pretzel. Do you understand what this is? No, you do not. And it came out with the star card, bitch. If anybody ever told you that you wasn't gonna be shit, let me tell you something. If anybody up, oh, I'm gonna stop. Let me let me calm down. Let me get my emotional support water bottle and take a sip. Do you see? Do you, do you, I'm sorry. You must be. If, if you don't see what the fuck. If you don't. You're going to have to be blind as a bat. Not to see what's going on here. Okay. And I know y'all ain't blind. And if you're blind. Okay. Then I know you ain't deaf. Because you wouldn't be watching this video if you were blind and deaf. Maybe you would. There's been several innovations. But. Uh, 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 okay what does it tell you pisces while i'm over here having a conniption what is it telling you what it tells me is that you knew you was gonna be the star and now you're finally putting your ass in position now you're finally getting your behind in gear okay we in the stick shift okay we, we you know we hit the clutch and we changed to the second gear because we was in the first gear. Then we hit the clutch again. Now we're getting in third gear and shit starting to speed up. Okay? So what I need for y'all to understand, Sagittarius season especially, what I need for y'all to understand is that things are coming together. And then you got the Six of Pentacles behind this. Taurus, Libra, Sag energy. <sighs> It's balance, balance, balance your focus, balance your time, balance your energy, balance your effort. You're learning the laws of the land or the lay of the land in the situation. Listen, if you ain't picking up what I'm throwing down, I don't know what to tell you. We, may, we might not be a match, but what I'm saying is, I don't know what's about to happen. After this situation comes together, I feel like it's up to you what happens after all this comes together. But something is about to come together. And it's big. And it's exactly what you've been asking for. And you know why? It's because spirit has moved you. Spirit has moved you and you've poured yourself wholeheartedly into something. Because your intuition told you that that's what you should do. And you put your blood, sweat, tears, and just pure essence into whatever this is that you're working on. And this was divinely guided. It, you, what, what is the, it's, what's coming to my mind, okay, is the statement where people say, many are called, but few are chosen. This is you being chosen. Do you understand me? This is you being chosen by who? God. Like the preachers and the pastors like to say, God. God. The nastiest way. The, the, the preachers and pastors love to try to say God in the most nastiest, strongest way. God. Okay? But that's who chose you. Whether it was your father or your mother God. But they, they chose you. And they definitely gave you some type of secrets as well because there's pillars here, which means that something is being supported. You are being supported by spirit and whatever this is that you're working on. So I would suggest that you get your motherfucking ass in gear, okay? Get in gear. It's time to hit the clutch. Pop it. And go and let that bitch go, okay? Let's get a crystal card. Again, 
We just had that uh, channel message about Virgo season. Virgo is the Eight of Pentacles. Also, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, and Sag is here. You prayed for this, Pisces, though. You've been praying for this for a long time. Okay? And Spirit been making it happen. It's taken, it took a long time. But Spirit is finally making it happen because guess what? You've been patient. If your ass is running around impatient, scared all the time, looking over your shoulder, snapping at people because you ain't getting your way, this reading ain't for you. Get the fuck on. What is the advice for Pisces? Okay, you see how my finger did that? That's two cards. Oh, and what did I say earlier about your situation in the current moment? You need to get grounded. And look what came out, Unikite. Live in the now. I'm telling you, you better enjoy it. You better enjoy it. You better savor every... You know when you go to a restaurant, Pisces, and you get a, a steak or some lamb chops? Uh, What is that restaurant? Loca Luna. Oh, my God. If y'all ever been to... I think it's called Loca Luna in Atlanta. Okay? They be talking a whole bunch of shit. You know, Keith Lee went on there. And he, you know, Keith Lee went on there and, uh, you know, called a few of these folks out. And I agree with them. So, I ain't tripping. But I've been to Loca Luna, and when I tell you not only is the energy, like, fun and vibrant and, you know, very commutative, or commutative, I don't know, it feels like a community vibe, but it feels like you can just come in there and vibe with everybody, you dance with strangers up in there, they be having live bands and all, it's fun, right? Them motherfucking lamb chops at Loca Luna. When I tell you, it took me an hour to eat them things. Because I was just chewing them down to just... I was chewing them so much that they turned into liquid. Because I wanted to savor every bite. That's what Spirit is trying to get you to understand right now. You need to chew up your life. Let it hit every taste bud. Swirl it around in your mouth. It's about the slowing down and enjoying and grounding in the moment of what you are experiencing right now. Because this feeling of rise, this feeling of high honor, this feeling of admiration, this stardom, this fame, whatever the fuck you about to walk your ass into. Okay? It is not going to last forever. Because nothing does, right? The only thing that's constant in life is change. But what they want you to understand is that this mentality that a lot of us have a tendency to have for a good reason, but it's unhealthy and imbalanced and counterproductive. But this tendency that we all tend to have sometimes is, you know, not enjoying the current moment and rushing towards the next thing without fully grasping and, and, and absorbing what we have. Okay. When I was working a job that really, you know, I felt like it was killing me, but I was making more money than I ever made in my life. I didn't fully enjoy that moment of bliss because I had this scarcity mentality and this poverty mentality that I would lose it at any moment. And yes, that's true, of course, because everything changes all the time. But you can't dwell on that aspect of the equation. Spirit is trying to help change your perspective so that you can understand what's important. And what's important in this moment is to enjoy what they about to give to you, baby. Because if you don't, that's on you, okay? Second piece of advice, pink opal, be kind to yourself. It's all right. If you if you feel like you make mistakes, it's all right. If you feel like you've done wrong, it's all right. If you feel like whatever you're doing, you're clumsy, you, you're fumbling over yourself and bumbling and, you know, you know, mumbling. Or I don't know what you're doing that rhymes with bumbling, fumbling, and mumbling, but... Whatever you feel like is going on that you should have done better or you could have done different or whatever, that shit don't matter. Be kind to yourself and live in the moment and enjoy the 
the, the, the prosperity that you have manifested. And this, this is from lifetimes. I'm telling y'all, this is a collection of, uh, you know, lifetimes worth of, I don't even want to say good karma. Cause you know, they, they propagandize all that shit and I'm about tired of it, but this is a collection of goodwill. Cause I'm going to tell you what happened when y'all were incarnating into this lifetime and probably several others before this one spirit, God, source, whoever you believe in, whatever they asked you, do you want to get justice this time? Do you want to get this justice? Because there were certain things that were going on in the world or wherever you incarnated that needed to be done. It's like the job needed to be done. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles indicates getting a job done no matter what, right? And they asked you, do you want to get your justice now in this lifetime? Because this, this is the list of things that, that still need to be done. This is the work that still needs to be done, you know, but you put in a lot of good work for us, Spirit said. And they were like, if you want, you know, to get your justice this lifetime, you know, you, you can do that. It's up to you. You just let us know. But instead of taking it and enjoying it, you, you kept putting it off and you was like, you know, I just, I, I, I want to do this first. I want to finish this first. I want to get here first. I, I want to help these people first. I want to touch this person first. I want to uplift their soul first. And because of that selflessness, you have accrued, which I have told y'all so many times, you have accrued so much karmic credit that now... What you're about to receive is like nothing you ever experienced. It's the best that you could have. It's beyond what you could have even imagined. I'm, I'm going to leave. Uh, listen, as a right, you better get your ass focused. Angel or courts lighten up. It's like, yes, be focused. Be diligent. You know, carry and hold the vision. Follow your dream. Get there. Do what needs to be done. But chill out. Relax, okay? Get comfortable with just being and existing and doing whatever you feel like you've been called to do. Don't be so uptight about what's going to happen next. Calm your ass down, all right? Love y'all. Be sure to like the video, subscribe. If you guys would like to donate or contribute, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. Pisces, I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see your comments. And most of all, remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.